Laney friends. I am Marshall. And I am Laney and you're going to notice a little bit of a different uh, place that we are filming. Uh, we had to move our office around. Uh, it was upstairs, now it's downstairs so we're kind of doing it in our kitchen dining room. Uh, but we think this will be a little bit more fun, you know, kind of like at the table, drinking whatever we're drinking. Today it's Dunkin Donuts cold brew because we were up early this morning we went to Trader Joe's. Yeah, we did. We found a lot of fun stuff. Patio chips, bro. Patio chips. Patio chips. If you guys have a Trader Joe near, near you, you need to get patio chips. Because, yes. So, today we have a Villainous Wax unboxing. You wanted to see some interesting subscription boxes. And so, we got it. And uh, this is, like I said, this is Villainous Wax. Um, and uh, you can see her awesome little word logo. Um, I've never gotten this box before. But, you know, I decided it would be fun to check out some more of the independent boxes. So uh, let's jump into it. I will leave all of the ordering information down below for you. I have not seen anything in this box. I haven't even opened it. Um, so it should be interesting, right? So and you know, if she's not seen it, I've really not seen he it. He has not seen I it either. I haven't seen that the box was here. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, because the box comes kind of like just Actually, it came in a different box, but then this is the inner box. So basically what's going to happen is he'll pull something out and look at it, and I'll read uh, from the papers what the set notes are inspired by and what they are, um, and then I'm going to have to take a look at the product myself because I have no idea what it is. And we'll have to smell it and see how we like Stick it. it together. All right, what you got first? Well, it looks like this is some tea uh, from off with their, it's off from their heads, grimoire, herbal tea blend. It's like a little bonus, just like, hey, thanks for ordering our wax. And it's themed off of the uh, Queen of Hearts. You can see that in the packaging there. The Queen of Hearts from uh, Alice in Wonderland. So yeah, I think I think this is not like, obviously what she said, it's, it, this is Grimoire Tea, which is mm -hmm. a totally different company. Um, probably just part of the box. Cause I was trying to look on the sheet to see if there was the scent in there, but I think they have it um, other places. So it says it's apple, sultana, hibiscus, elderberry, coconut, banana, cherry, raspberry, and rose petal. That sounds now, good. Now, I really like these kind of teas. I take them to work, and I have them mostly during the week. Um, that sounds like my kind of tea. Ooh, it does smell really good. Because I'm not normally for the, like, street of tea. I, I need to have some flavor going on. Mm. Yeah, okay, so it's a, a warm, fruity flavor. I really like Grimoire tea. Um, I usually get my tea from either Grimoire or from um, Nerdfelt. So those are the two that I get my tea from. And I like it. I like yeah, it that's, that, that was a nice bonus. Thank you, guy. What's next? Next I have Poisonous Bitch. Juicy Macintosh Apple Vanilla Cream and Fizzy Potions. You can see it's a nice pink and white swirl. So they're, they're saying this is their signature scent inspired by the evil queen. Queen. Ugh. Yes. Yes. Crisp and juicy Macintosh apple thrown in a fizzy poster. You should say that. That's very nice. It's Actually, got a little bit of glitter in there. Yeah. So mm. it's very champagne-y. Yeah. There's it's got, like a it's fizzy. Got a good fizz, good mm. fizz to it. That is really good. I do like this a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. 101 Disappointments. This is a Dalmatian colored one um, that is Forever Red Bath and Body Works type. Okay, so this is based off of the Bath and Body Works type scent, uh, Forever Red Bath. Mm -hmm. So it's inspired by Cruella DeVille. The glamorous feminine scent opens with rich and refreshing fruit notes, followed by a heavenly base of woods, marshmallow, and caramelized vanilla. The, the marshmallow does a good job of toning down some of the floral notes that are hiding in there. Um, yeah. It's good. I, I like actually like that combination. And look at the, the yeah. uh, black and white. That is so creative. And this one, this one's got a frowny face. A little paw, maybe? Voodoo King. Tobacco leaf, cognac, and cherry. So this is based off of Dr. Facilier, I'm guessing. From... Uh, Princess, Princess and the, and the Frog. Frog, yeah. 
It says, we'll have you speaking to your friends on the other mm -hmm. side. Yeah, I also said it had some vanilla bean in it as well. Okay, so I think I get the cognac and the vanilla bean. The tobacco, yeah, the tobacco is there. It's a little it, hard it's, to it's pick out. It's yeah. No, the vanilla bean, I almost comes off a little bit as a baby powder. I don't smell yes. the cherries a lot, but I, I do smell, I smell a, a little bit of it, just really with the tobacco, I what think. I, yeah, I think that's what, what the cherry is really good at. Mm. It's taking that tobacco scent and transforming it into something that isn't quite so uh, toxic. Yeah, we always have trouble when we do ours, uh, those tobacco scents or the cognac scents, they'll get you. Mm -hmm. That'll get you. Alright, feels like I've got some wax sample cups. Oh yeah, portion cups, we like those. Arabian Night, which is an Asian musk, pear, apple, patchouli, and vanilla. Obviously it's Jafar, so notice these are all villains. I didn't mention that before. Um, hmm. Yeah, I can, I can see this as Jafar. I am not a fan of patchouli myself just because it makes me, like, sneeze a lot um this is very masculine yes it is there's a lot of musk in here it reminds me a lot of aftershave this is not necessarily something that i gravitate towards me typically me neither i mean like i could see this as a body spray but there's a, one issue with it like after i smelled it like it, it starts off with a nice warm musk that was rather pleasant but then after it's left your nose kind of burns a little bit. Well, I think that if you really like masculine scents, this is really one for you. Yes. Uh, we uh, we just don't. We like fruity and bakery ones mostly. Mm -hmm. So it's not up our alley, but somebody I know will enjoy that. Oh, I wanted you guys to see the glitter in. So not only does it have this gold glitter going on, but like it's two-tone, which is kind of like him because he's two-faced ah. and snake-like. Smart. Uh, this one is wrong lever for Yzma from, um, I want to call it Kingdom of the Sun, but I know that's not right. Emperor's, Emperor's New Brew. Because it was supposed to be called Kingdom of the Sun. Yeah. And very good. So oh. this is bursting with sparkling lime and juicy coconut notes blended with refreshing verbena. It's really funny because I think she might use the same supplier we do because I'm recognizing some of the blends mm -hmm. in here. <laughs> I, I like that a lot. That is good. Oh, that is really good. I like the colors too. It's very purple and green, just like Yzma. Oh, I'm gonna love this one. That's that's a really good. I box. will say that the scents seem to be very strong. Yeah, I mean, look at it's not only got the green glitter on the top, but it's also like leaking down inside. Mm -hmm. When we do our wax, we try to do our wax very straightforward. Like there's one color, you know, mainly because that's just we like to be simple. You know, but I totally appreciate people who have this kind of artistry that they, they do all these different colors. Yeah, and and that's, it's, it's just fun. cool. Yeah. I, I really appreciate it in like, in waxes. I don't appreciate it as much in bath bombs. Glitter? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know you in the glitter. Virginia Govna. It's a Governor Ratcliffe. Okay. Thank you. Uh-huh. I really don't remember much of that movie. It's Pocahontas, if you don't remember it. Pocahontas. Either. It's a mix of cedar, oh. rose, sandalwood, and vanilla. It's a nice warm wood mm. scent. The rose does temper some of the more masculine aspects. Mm -hmm. Again, I kind of got this, a little bit of a baby powder scent to it. Mm -hmm. Just a little, I think it's the rose. I think it's because it's a very mild rose. Yeah, we got cats running around yeah, in here. Okay, so I like also the glitter. Yeah. I mean, she, this one is a, is a gold glitter against a purple background. I think she's using purple to represent the villain, which I think is kind of a Disney thing. They use purple for their villain. That's true. Oh, then you have Crystal Thief with earthy notes, cedar, and saffron. I think this is Atlantis. Commander Rourke. So, yes, it mm -hmm. is Atlantis. So I like how they're going deep. And not only that, like... We'll, you'll see it, but they used the colors, and they did that very well. So it's a masculine, earthy bases, cedar, and saffron. Okay. I really get mm. uh, the earth notes and the cedar. They're yeah. really strong. And This is going to be nice for, like, the fall. Mm -hmm. uh, like, around October, November. See, looking at her waxes here, I, what I really 
another thing I really appreciate that you're doing is that you're not just going for feminine scents. Yeah. You're going for a large array of scents, and you have some real artistry mm. going on here. I Definitely. like what you're doing. I like Definitely. the stuff you're doing. You fools! Vanilla, balsam, sweet berries, and warm spices. Okay, so this is the Lion King. No. No? It's Maleficent. Maleficent. Oh, yeah, yeah because I, I also remember the other scene where he goes, you fools, in uh, mm -hmm. Scar. They say that a lot. Fools! Like, they think they're the smartest thing ever. This is nice. Okay, so vanilla, balsam, sweet berries, and warm spices. This is actually really nice. I like that. Oh, you know what? I love that this is kind of like on the line between it could go... A little bit fruity, but then it could go a little bit woodsy. Mm -hmm. But I like that it's bold because this is something like more up my alley that I think I could, I could tolerate in a room. And it's like actually coming all over my shirt right now. There are little there's, there's little bits that dried on top. There you go. So yeah, show them what I, that I'll is. show you, but carefully because it's it's purple on the underside, but it's got these lighter purple and green markings on top. Mm -hmm. There's still a lot more in here. There's a lot more. I didn't know there was this much. That's kind of crazy. Evil stepmother. There you go. Lady Tremaine mm -hmm. from Cinderella. Vanilla pod cream brulee and scorched caramel. I'm going to love this one. Yeah. Love me some caramel. And then you'll really like that. Ooh. That 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 caramel is really strong. It smells like Captain Crunch. Yeah. Totally. Oh, and I, and I like the glitter on the inside as well. Yeah. I think that's kind of inspired by her dress, isn't it? Doesn't she wear a red she dress? She does, uh-huh. Maybe, I mean, who knows if that's what you're going for, but what you think of, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Getting to the point where it might be easier just to open the other end. <laughs> oh, hey, and to go with that, we have the Evil Step Sisters. This, oh, that's really fun. Orange, lemon, and fluffy white cake with hot tea. So this is Anastasia and Drusilla. Uh, it is hot tea. You said there was tea in it? Yeah. Hot tea. I love tea scents also. This is, this is really good. So this smells kind of like you would think of like a tea party. Yeah, it really does. But not like the psychotic tea party yeah. out, of, out of Alice in Wonderland. It's more like a... I like the cake with the mm -hmm. lemon and the tea. That's so good. And um, so as far as the colors go, I believe the stepsisters would wear a pink and a green dress mm -hmm. in the movie when they went to the ball. And then it's like covered in white cream. Mm -hmm. um, chameleon. Oh, this is from Frozen. No, Monsters, Inc. Monsters, Inc. It's okay. Randall. Mm -hmm. It's Randall. Because I, I know that the villain out of Frozen is kind of a chameleon character. Yeah. I'm just gonna dump this. So. Yeah, just, just dump it. Mm. So what did you say? Maple, vanilla, ochred, fig, sprinkled with some ground pepper. I think the figs come out stronger. Ooh, it's really pretty. Yeah, those are the figs. I recognize that scent. The figs. Mm. It's not a little the bit of the pepper in the orchid. Yeah, you're right. It's not totally strong, which for the orchid could be a bad thing if it was really strong. But yeah. this, again, is not one of my scents that I would choose just because it is a little over... Ooh, it's starting to give me a little headache. You know, that's that's my personally thing. But if you guys like flowery scent, this is definitely it. Plus, you cannot beat the purpley sparkle. Yeah, it's a fine glitter. Fish killer. Strawberries and cream swirled soft serve. So this is uh, Finding Nemo? Nope. Uh, yes, it's Darla. It says Darla, yep. So it says it's a Yankee Candle Ooh. Summer Scoop type. Wow. That is good, strong strawberries. Oh, oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That just makes you feel good. Oh. Right up in here. Oh, yes. <laughs> that is great. And it also has some really cute uh, iridescent glitter on that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> TikTok, sea mist, rich woods, and musk. Hmm. So TikTok, this is inspired by a hook from oh. Peter Pan. So sea mist with rich wood and musk. 
I get the sea mist. So Very they're, they're saying it's like walking the plank and in a blue lagoon. I mean, Ooh. visually, I get the Blue Lagoon. You know, I really didn't think I was going to like this because of the musk, but I actually like how it smells like... Yeah, that, that like sea, mist, sea mist. That sea mist is really making it. And, and I got you got to see the glitter on this one. It's yeah. like a... All my favorite never foods. <laughs> ah, Siamese twins. Patchouli, peach, clove, and sandalwood. So... This may be problematic for us, but we're still going to give it a shot. We're going to, Hopefully so that peach kind of helps things along. Obviously, this is a Siamese cat, Sai and Am, from uh, Lady in the Tramp. Ooh, um, so yeah, the patchouli is quite strong. Oh yeah, it really is. Mm -hmm. But I like the two-toned of, yeah. of the... Uh... All together, it kind of gives me a feel like um, chai tea. A little bit. Yeah, so... Let's take a look right there, because there, there really isn't anything on the top. It's just white and tan. So it really does look like those two cats. Mm -hmm. Hunter. Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce Cologne type. The this is inspired by Clayton, which is Tarzan. Yeah, I was like... Clayton, Clayton. Digging deep for these, man. <laughs> Good job. Okay. It, it is definitely a musky... It is a very manly scent. Mm -hmm. it, it's got kind of a, it, it is definitely a musk, it's just not as, yeah. as potent as some others, but yeah, I get what's going on there. Yeah, 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 I think it's definitely a little bit more, more manly. Mm -hmm. Exactly, Zeno. <laughs> and here we go, this is Red Queen, and it smells of red rosebuds and vanilla beans. Yes. Okay, so I also get the baby powder scent going on in here again. Mm -hmm. um, but it's... It's tempered. It's definitely got the rosebuds. And then the vanilla bean comes in afterwards to kind of give it some... Yeah, definitely rosy. Yeah. And the, the wax itself makes me think of Christmas. Yeah, it's so pretty. I tried to put all of them out there. Some are hiding underneath the... Yeah. All right. Looks like we got five more to go. Bratty Buzz Cut. Mouth-watering bubblegum. So, oh, uh, it's... It's Toy Story. Sid, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is very much bubblegum. I love bubblegum. That's a great one. Mm, yes. Yeah. Definitely. I like it. There wasn't anything. It was basically just... Uh, like a purpley kind of color. Kneel in pieces. I don't know this one at all. Yeah, Sean Yu from Mulan. Oh, yes, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't really remember him as a villain at all. Like, I don't remember the character. So this one is sandal cedar, sandalwood, orange, and jasmine. Yeah, it's very woods. I do like the two-tone on it, though. I, I actually got a little bit more of the orange. I get a little bit more of the orange in the scent, but it's good. I, <coughs> it's not the worst one I've gotten. Mm -hmm. Cauldron Board. Okay, is these says, the... these are new scents. Um, but yes. See, what is it? What do you think it's from? The Dark Cauldron? Black Cauldron. Black Cauldron. Yeah, so it is smoked sandalwood and cedarwood. There's a lot of sandalwood and cedarwood going on in this collection. Uh, amber sweet marshmallows, inspired by the Horn King. This is actually really good. Mm. I like that a lot. I might give you this for your room. That's I. I was not expecting it. That's, yeah. That marshmallow does some good stuff to really the sandalwood. Really nice things. Zim Zabarim Zim, witchy brews, black pepper, and plump figs. What do you think it's from? I honestly don't know. It's Madame Mim from Sword in the Stone. Oh, I, and I don't even... Like, I've watched that movie so many times when I was a kid, but I don't remember her being there at all. Yeah. I only remember the scenes where Merlin is turning him into animals and they're running all over the place. Okay, this is okay. The pepper and the figs are definitely... Yeah... Yeah, so 
you get all of these little magical sparkles, and I think I saw a star in there. there oh, there's a little yellow star hiding at the bottom. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting combination. And one more. Lone Shark. Silk Suits, Strong Cologne, and Cuban Cigar Smoke. Uh-oh. This is from Oliver and Company, Bill Sykes. Oh, yeah. It's the cologne, like... Yeah. It's not really what I expected, but... I think the Cuban cigars actually lend it a little bit of sweetness. Yeah, it kind of does. Really expecting. That is interesting. Yeah. So, it's predominantly blue, but with a little bit of black in there. Is that it? Let's make That's... sure. That is everything. Yeah. So, you can kind of see some of it here. There is a lot, a lot of wax. Um, if I remember correctly, this cost about twenty-five dollars. Okay. That's a lot of wax for twenty-five dollars. We keep it busy. I mean, we make our own wax as well, so it takes us forever to get through wax. So what's cool about it is, even though these seem like they're strong already, we'll be able to cure it for a little while before we melt our wax mm -hmm. for sure. So what do you think about this? Uh, very creative. Um, we've got a lot of different kinds of blends going on here that isn't afraid to jump into territories that some people might find yeah. difficult to smell. Yeah. But I don't think any of them were truly unpleasant to the average person. Mm -hmm. um, to us, we have a few that we don't necessarily like, but right. that's just us. And honestly, being in the business as well of creating scents, we do have an appreciation for the scents that we do not like and don't like on a daily basis. The, um, so we know, oh yeah, we'll, we'll know when something is like extremely bad. Like <laughs> we, yeah. we know, this does not work. But all of these blends I think work together, some mm -hmm. of them in very surprising ways. Um, I think I might do this again come holidays because I love me some holiday wax, mm -hmm. I, especially if it's a lot of bakery things, I'm all about it. So we might go ahead and get more then. But um, I really, I really do. I think this is a great subscription box. I'll put all the ordering information down below for you as well. So thank you so much for watching. And until next time, stay sane. Bye-bye.